So for people who don't know, and I think a lot of people, uh, especially men perhaps, don't know that much, what, what is FGM and why is it bad? Well, FGM is um, so sort of female genital mutilation, which is the total or partial removal of the female anatomy for non-medical reasoning. And um, the fact that it's bad, it's because it, it's a human rights violation and it's something that not only harms women, but can also kill women as well. Do a lot of people die from it? That's why we use the term survivor, because um, we don't necessarily know the actual numbers of women who've actually died because of FGM at the time it happened or any complications that are linked to it. So I had my FGM when I was seven and I ended up having complications, which meant at the age of 11, I had to have a defibrillation. So I had a really invasive form of FGM, which is type three. There are like different types of FGM, but I just think that's for, more for like medical um uh, medical needs rather than actually understanding that as a layperson. But I had a, I had a, a very invasive form of FGM, which meant that my anatomy was kind of sealed together, which meant that it was really difficult for me to urinate. Um, as a child, that led to a urinary infection, which almost kind of led to kidney failure. So had I got kidney failure and died from it, it would have been as a consequence of, of my FG. So we don't know how many other girls are out there with those similar complications who are not as lucky as I was in order to have the medical um, expertise I did with, with the NHS. Can women who have had FGM still achieve orgasms you said that the men were bad or whatever so that if they do it themselves presumably women that have fgm or, or have had fgm can orgasm it's not 100 percent for everybody so like orgasms are not guaranteed for everybody but it's all about knowing yourself knowing what you like so 80 percent of our clitoris is internal so there's there'll be like different things that will make them um orgasm and like i said in the book like you know i don't like you know I can't put a finger on my first orgasm, but I had a hand in it. So you have to be able to get in there and know what really, like, you know, I can't, I can't say it's, it was like Tuesday, the 24th of July, but I know, like, you know, the reason why I'm able to have pleasure is because I know what I like and what I don't like. And I'm actually quite defensive about that. The whole point is like, a lot of people sometimes assume that what, like, you know, what they see on TV or whatever is like, this is how you would have, I think, have sex or what you should be doing. I think we need to empower young people more and we need to empower women and tell them what like you know when they can say no and what they can also be assertive about like you know things that they want or might not want 